Have you ever tried recording something in Logic Pro, but when you press record, the record button just kept flashing and wouldn't let you record where you wanted to start recording? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that coming right up. G buys miscellaneous quick tips. Logic Pro. Logic Pro. Logic Pro. What's up? Tis I, G5, back at it again with another G5's miscellaneous quick tip video. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn off auto punch, which is actually engaged and you may not even realize it. So let's get started. So the whole purpose of me making this video is because this happened to me and didn't know it. I don't see auto punch here in the uh, menu bar options and it's I, I didn't see anything here. Um, so if you press record, you'll see that this is flashing red and it won't let me record. So here we go. I want to press R on my keyboard. Nada, nothing. So I said to myself, self, how do you fix this? Well, two ways you can do it, um, to actually deactivate it. Under your numbered section, you actually, if you click and just drag it, it's there. You'll see that little space under your numbers. Um, that's how you know auto punch is actually active, but it's down to one line um, and it won't let you record because it's too small of a space to let you do any auto punching um, here. So I'm going to just make this bigger so that uh, you guys can see it for this tutorial. Right click in this area and go to the first option, customize control bar and display. And the second option here is auto punch. You can click here in this box or the word, it'll put this check mark in the box and you'll see that this option will pop up here. If you click it, it'll take it off and, and then click it again, it'll put it back on. Now it can still not be in the menu, but active because when I took it off, it's red, it's active, all right? So, um, but if I click it here, it's in the menu, but it now is not active and it'll let you record. Another way to do this is to, let's say if it's active and you don't want it to be active, hold down control option and command or Apple. If you have an old keyboard, like I do press the letter P and you'll see it'll turn it on and off. Okay. Now, if you don't want it on the menu again, I'm going to click it to turn it off. Go here to the first option and go here and click. Okay. So it's not on the menu and it's not active. So now if I try to record, you see it won't flash red and it'll let me record at this um, where my playhead is. Alrighty. And that's pretty much IT. That's pretty much it. So I hope that this video helps some people out. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Peace. Yo, did you hear that beat by G5? They said